It's the most wonderful time <laughs> of the year. You did not let me know that you were no. starting. What is wrong with you? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, because you're Michigan started yeah today. football season is back <laughs> i said that to the kids thursday or friday and someone mm-hmm. was like that's christmas and i was like christmas is during football season it's the most wonderful time of the year all the way through my birthday and happy all birthday way, andrew and all the yeah <laughs> yeah oh yeah that's perfect we can start because people that do like the whole week of their birthday some people do a whole month of their birthday i'm doing he, Football season is my birthday. Okay, so you, <laughs> he is one of those type of people who does the entire month of December. Is yeah, you all owe me. It, you owe me. Even though Cash has a December birthday as well. He owes me too. No, you're like, screw you. Yeah. Your birthday is more important. The dog has a December birthday. All right, so it's entire football season all is dedicated of football to season Andrew. Is dedicated to Andrew. Joy. <laughs> And this year, it just happened to start in August, which... Um, I thought it always does. Um, only for the shit teams. It's just because the 31st happened to fall on Saturday. Oh, Normally, it's okay. it's like 2nd or 4th of September. Hmm. It's never usually this early. Because um, a lot of schools in a lot of states, like specifically the state of Michigan, they don't even start school until after Labor Day. Really? High, high school. Still? Every, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I had no idea. Yeah. So their back to school like move in was this week and they had uh Palestinian protesters that the police had to like beat the shit out of and arrest. Fun times. This happened two days ago, like as people were showing up to like go to their <clears throat> Airbnbs. That's you know what? I bet if this game happened week three instead of week one, mm-hmm. Airbnbs would have been half price. Because Every all the parents are there helping their students move in for the first time, and they want to stay. They're going to watch the first game of the oh, season. Gotcha. Yeah. So ticket prices weren't expensive because mm. Fresno State's going to get absolutely crushed. It's but to be, actually stay there, it had nothing to do with the football game. Yeah, it it just was hap- more it, about moving. No, I week. mean they the game still sold out. It was one hundred and seventeen thousand four hundred twenty one tickets sold. Right. So there's people still there, but now you have the first game of the season. And freshmen or whatever. I mean, people, transfers, everybody that's moving in for the first time that doesn't live there year round. Yeah. You have all those families coming in from wherever, wherever they live at, moving their children in. Yeah. And then you have protesters. You get to be, so you get, you get to watch protesters get beat down. Then you get to watch Fresno State get beat down two days later. Do you think any of the four kids are going to go to Michigan? Yeah. Who? Um, I would bet on Cooper going as a for graduate school. Mm, I could see that. Yeah, engineering. Yeah, specialty pro- programs. Yeah. yeah well, because they're they're a medical school. Yeah, right. They're one of the. He wants to be a biomedical engineer. They're yes. one of the top medical schools in the country. Gotcha. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's football season. Okay. Well. Because he's on a high over here with football season. And he let me know that you guys were pestering for the... Uh, oh, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Before you get into that. Wait. Uh, how did Kanye do it? He took the mic from her. Said, I would, I'm going to let you continue, but... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Wasn't that Taylor Taylor, Taylor Swift? Swift? Yeah. yeah. Like 10 years ago or something? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Um... Make sure you check the links in the video description. Visit Nona's website. Visit my website. Check out all of our social media links. Follow us. Join the channel as a member. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Subscribe everywhere else. Leave a comment. What else? I'm yeah, get, I need to get it all it. in right now. You got it all in. Oh, we got it all in? I think you sure? so. Okay. I think so. Okay. We, I've been having a battle with Google this week. Why? Because they didn't like... The, well, Google, it wasn't that Google didn't like it. People that were seeing the ad were reporting the ad. So we got hit again. I won the appeal yesterday, and we got hit again last night in the middle of the night. They didn't suspend us this time, though. They just... What ad? 
for nonofelps.com, no, no. leemaxmedia.com. No, no, no. The, and... no, no, no. The, the awareness campaign for the show itself. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> because they had the Hellfire Armory stuff in it. I wonder if it was not that it was promoted, but what it was promoting. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with that. There was just enough people that were seeing the ad and butthurt about it were reporting the ad. Because I keep getting... Y'all need to stop being butt hurt. I, I keep getting irrelevant. <laughs> I'll actually, I'll read it to you. This is one. Oh this is God. what I said. So this is for the podcast and awareness campaign. And at where's I got to go? I have three accounts. I have my personal one. I have business one, and then I have the podcast. Or I mean, then the, uh, the podcast is part of my business one. It's just an alias, and then I have the nonprofit. So I have to cycle through all my accounts. All right. Google ads policy manager, uh, promotion. Just, so this is after it's been running since Thursday. Okay. For the second time, disapproved. The ad was disapproved at, uh, five Oh nine AM this morning, our time, Eastern okay. time for shocking content disapproved for the policy. So they already manually approved it. Mm -hmm. And then enough people reported it again that it was disapproved for shocking content. Yeah. And it, the, okay, well they're about to this, get shocked. <laughs> this campaign ends either today or tomorrow anyways. Okay. So it's dumb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you continue now, Taylor. By the way, this is Nona. I'm Andrew. This is the he's wrong. She's right podcast. We're now seven minutes into the show. <laughs> well, I made an offhand comment in one of the first episodes that we put together about if we got to a thousand subscribers, I would show my belly button. So you're and show, you're, again, you're, they haven't only one come, person is only one person. Has you come told back. me it was multiple people. It was the same person multiple times oh, okay. on like different videos and content, but they haven't said anything recently. <sighs> I thought you were going to wait until, but okay, go ahead. You volunteered it. They forgot. Well, no, nope, okay. you, well, you, you let me now. know that they didn't forget, and I didn't want people to think that because I was a somebody, pussy ass bitch. But I made randomly, an offhand comment and was joking about it. But I will okay, do it. follow right now. through right now. right now. Okay, and I'm wearing a two piece dress, so I can show my belly button. Do, do, do. Real there you quick. go. See? Belly button. There you go. You got my belly button. And I'm about to like flopping around like <laughs> on set. You're, hey, hey, set. come on. She's breaking go. everything. You better not hit it again. Well, Look, you know, it it's falling. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Okay. It's fine. I haven't got my chair all the way in. Sure. So. Okay. <sighs> okay. We didn't it's, even do it's a, a really, check, by it's the way. a really tight set over here, guys. I'm like all the way up against the wall. I can go this far back. Yeah, you and have more room. I'm, I'm a lot tighter this, over here. So yeah, you guys got to see my got, belly button. We got this for whole corner. We can put two and a half seconds. We can give you the dunce cap. Put you on a stool. And I can Rude. move your microphone back there. Rude. Okay. So, anyways, <clears throat> today. Today. Is Labor Day weekend? So this episode will come out. Monday, Labor Day, correct? Sure. Probably. Probably. Okay. So most of you guys won't be out work. We'll be chilling, possibly not even catching up on this episode until like Tuesday when you're driving to work again. Um, so we're better bringing, watch the show the day we're bringing out. we're bringing some humor, some lighthearted. We've got some Reddits to okay. read that are interesting and funny okay. and delightful so it's story time with nona These today are, and tomorrow this, this looks like instagram no it's reddit i just i took multiple screenshots so i could put it compile it all in an album together okay. so that way i had it all in one place relax okay relax you don't have to be so dramatic all the time all right i'm not dramatic but you didn't show them your shiny um what no one got a new shiny. Um, and why didn't you turn off the TV? Because football. You want on. everybody to hear football in the background Here, when you quiet, are. Quiet. They can't even hear it. Whatever. Only I, don't I can you. hear it, and it's not even a good game. I left. I left the channel. I left the TV on the wrong channel. It's the Vanderbilt game. Okay. Nobody cares about Vanderbilt. Okay. 
Okay. Anyways. Anyways. You ready? Yeah. He doesn't know any of these yet. Um, so this will sure? be. I am the internet. I know. And and he's on Reddit all the time. So there's a good chance that he has actually seen these when they originally came out. But I just compiled a nice little variety for today and tomorrow's episodes. So okay. story time with Nona begins now. Again, I did not write these. I'm just reading them. I slept with my girlfriend's mom two years ago. I can't tell her because I know she'll dump me and it'll probably end her parents' marriage. What's your first thought? It reminds me of the, did I send you the screenshot or the link to the one that I just read? I posted on Facebook two days ago. You showed it to me. That's all. And I actually asked him to send it to me so that I could read it today, and he didn't. Oh, I know all the key points, so we don't even need to read it. No, the part of it is is reading it. But anyways, so yeah, what's your first thought? What If you had slept with my mom, which obviously would never have happened because my parents have been together for almost 40 years <laughs> at this cute. point, stop. But you realize that into our relationship, would you have told me? Wait, you slept with her first? Yeah. So I slept with my girlfriend's mom two years ago. I can't tell her because I know she'll dump me and it will probably end her parents' marriage. That doesn't say that he slept with her before he got into a relationship with so her. I was just, I was just, I wanted to hear first opinions before I continue reading. No? Okay. All right. I'll Tell continue. My opinion. I'll continue reading then. So let me first say I'm not the one in the wrong for this. And I have to say it somewhere. It's been eating me alive. Two years ago, when I was 19 years old, I met this woman while I was working as a personal trainer. She was in her 40s, looked like a 25-year-old. She took an interest in me and invest, or sorry, not invested, invited me out a number of times. And we had sex a few times. After one of our meetups, she said it was wrong for someone of her age to be with me because I was too young, so I changed gyms. Why? <laughs> he was a personal trainer. Okay, that has he shouldn't leave. She needs to leave. My girlfriend and I have been together for just under a year. She's amazing, and I love her so much. Two months ago, I met her family for the very first time, and I was in shock. Like... She took me to her house where I had hooked up with a woman and I felt like I was being pranked. Before I see her mom, it hits me. I have a type and they both fit that type, obviously, so it makes sense. I've been hooking up with a single mom and I'm now with her daughter. Then her mom and dad both pop out and we both almost shit ourselves. I meet her parents and they've been married for 20 years. I realized I had been with a married woman and I was her boy toy. I felt incredibly ashamed. Later that week, her mom finds my number and tells me that I can never speak of what happened. She says that my girlfriend will hate me forever because I'll be the one who broke up her parents. So now I'm stuck keeping this secret. She invited me to spend Thanksgiving with her family, and since my family is over a thousand miles away, and I already told her I don't plan on going home, I feel like I'm stuck and I have no excuse not to go. So now I'm going to have to sit there at a table and enjoy Thanksgiving dinner with the woman that I had an affair with, her husband, and her daughter, who I'm in love with. I'm fucked. So, okay. what is... Your, like, what, what, what would you do? What would you do? Nothing. Just would I, you go to Thanksgiving? Probably. So he's been with his girlfriend for a year now. Okay. He fucked his girlfriend's mom over two years ago. Okay. Just a handful of times. Was the boy toy, whatever. He was obviously not in love with her. Okay. She is still married to girlfriend's dad. Okay. And he's now torn and stuck. Okay. Do I continue loving this girl and be a part of this family that's clearly fucked up? Or 
Do I remove myself or do I spill the secret? What would you do? Doesn't bother me. So you would go to Thanksgiving and just act as normal? Yeah. That's terrifying. Why? Now I'm wondering of all the times that I've been in a situation where you were clearly hiding something from me and I was the dumb one in the room who had no idea. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. What do you guys think? Do you think with that reaction that I have possibly been in a situation? Not, I'm not saying to that no. extreme. No. But where other people knew that there was something going on and I had no idea? No. I genuinely don't know what I would do. I don't know if I could continue being with somebody if, like, I'll, I'll gender reverse it. If... I had fucked the dad of the boyfriend that I had been with for a year and then met the Don't most like, girls isn't that something that most girls say that they're gonna do? Like if you if you do something bad or whatever. Like if you cheat on me, I'm gonna fuck your dad. Yeah. I've seen that I've literally a never times. heard that, but yeah, I've seen that a million times. Because that's never crossed my mind. What the fuck? See, that's, Assert dominance? That's a threat. Fuck your dad? That's a threat that dudes <laughs> make to other dudes. Assert dominance? I'm going to fuck your wife? Like what? Your mom. Your mom? Yeah. <laughs> so he's in that role, but not intentionally? Sure. Well, but I'm just wondering. That to your I'm girlfriend. just wondering where dad is in this situation. Like, have they just been, you know, like what is the real marital dynamic? She went to the gym. Well, I'm wondering, you know, what if he's got somebody on the side? What if, you know, they're just still quote unquote together because that's what you're supposed to do. You think too much into this. Yeah. I'm just, I'm genuinely curious now. What do you guys think? You think too much. What would you guys do in that situation? I really want to know because I, I genuinely don't know what I would do. Most people are scared bitches. So they'd find some excuse or they'd break up or. They would act awkward the entire time. It's exactly what they would do. I don't know what I would do. All right. Next one. This one's under the Ask Reddit subthread. We should talk about the the one that I showed you first. Okay. But I want you to actually read it. No. Please. That's a lot of effort. Please. Actually read it. Oh, my God. Please. We can wait. That's too much effort. Wait for what? I know exactly where it is. Pull it up. No. By the way, did you see that? Somebody changed the duck fat label to dick fat. No, I did not see that. <laughs> Who did that? No. Seems like something you would do. <laughs> Where did you see this one? Can, can you please get to the Reddit? Am, this is a Reddit episode. Please stay on are, track. This is stuff from Reddit. Please I am stay on, on track. track. I am on track. I'm always on track. The title is My Friend Used Me for Sexual Content. I'm secretly the customer pain. Uh, to keep her doing it. We're assuming on like OnlyFans or something. My my male or my, wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the, if you haven't been on Reddit before, when people talk about these things and their relationships, oh yeah, they they put gender their assigned. they put their gender and their age or their sex and their age, both mm-hmm. whatever, um, in parentheses. So my me, 22 year old male. My best friend, female, 22, uh, is a girl who I'm insanely attracted to. She only sees me as a friend, though, since she's a lesbian and would never be in a relationship with a man. She confided in me that she started making sexual content online for extra money. It's not a, uh, it's not that big, but enough to pay her rent each month on top of her normal job. She has a full-on secret Instagram, Twitter, OnlyFans, etc. It came as a shock, uh, and I asked her so many questions about it that she briefly showed me her account while we talked about it. She then dropped the bombshell on me that she wanted me to help her with a few videos uh, someone had paid for. Apparently, they were tired of the solo content. I won't get into specifics because I'm not sure what the rules are here, but she wouldn't do full sex scene with me since she doesn't like guys. It was more of a fetish thing. 
She made it very clear she just needed a dick for the vid, and she trusted me, uh, but she was doing it for the money, not because she liked me, and she'd give me some of the profit if I helped her. <clears throat> we did it, but I also memorized her account anonymously, and then I subscribed to it a few days later. Ever since, I've been uh, doing the same thing, paying her anonymously for videos that would include a guy, just so that she keeps using me in real life. I feel bad deceiving her, especially since she's giving me back some of my own money. Oh but I feel like this is the only way I'd have this opportunity. So, dude found a prostitution loophole by paying for video content. And he found... To be part of the video content. A loophole to fuck somebody who is not interested in men in general. Well, they're not having sex. They're just doing, or sorry, I guess, everything with. else. I'm so sorry. Play with. They're just doing everything else. Everything else. Would you do that? Because I feel like the answer would be yes. No, I'm not paying shit for anybody's naked porn videos, pictures, anything. I had to tell my mom what OnlyFans was. OnlyFans is a cooking website. <laughs> I had to explain to her what OnlyFans was. So OnlyFans was started as a cooking website. For, I know. Yeah. yeah. Just like I how, don't know how she's just like gone how years you, without knowing what OnlyFans is. Just like OnlyFans how YouTube is. started as a dating website. Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Could you imagine back in the day, 2005, 2006, whatever? What, like posting a video of... Yeah. I'm a single mom of and four kids. So, Please date me. So here's the thing. The platform, like the 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 platform itself has carried everything from the beginning all the way through. Like I have videos that I uploaded from when I was in the army. Mm -hmm. and like, and he before, made us watch all of them. Like 2006, 2007 era. Mm -hmm. I have videos up and they're still there. Like you can, so there's the potential if you can figure out I've never, I've never actually tried to sort YouTube by date. I want to just go to YouTube search and just, I want to filter by the first like 50 videos that were ever uploaded to the platform. I can only imagine the and graininess. <laughs> it's going to be all, yeah. Like, uh, what were they? The handy cam or were they, there was a Sony one, uh, T no TCL. No, TCL is the cheap Chinese TV oh, manufacturer uh -huh. currently. Uh, RCA. Yes. Yes. Um, which we talked some, we talked about like those ghost brands before recently about how these, like the, the name exists. I think Toys R Us, we might've talked about in something else. Like they're bringing it back. You know what I'm talking about? Can we get back to Reddit? Yeah, we are talking about Reddit and we're talking about YouTube. Come on, keep up. What were Can they? we get back to yeah, Reddit? What were, what were they called? You have to, come on, what were they called? Did you have one of those, like, camcorders? No, I've never had a camcorder in my life. Never? Never. Interesting. Yep. Did you ever use, like, a point-and-shoot camera and use it for video? Nope. Did you ever even own a point-and-shoot camera? I owned a Canon Rebel DSLR well, those early DSLRs didn't typically shoot video too, did yours? Yes, because I bought it in 2012, 2013, something like that. That doesn't mean that it shot video. It did. It did. I know for a fact it did. Okay. If I think I, so. I took one whole video of like baby Chloe with it. Fun times. Fun times. Okay. So he, he doesn't care about babies. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I haven't seen the. You're just telling me that you took a video. Okay, cool. Okay. What was she doing? Okay, back Falling? to Reddit. Back to Reddit. Okay. Okay. This is on the Ask Reddit uh, subthread. What is a common social etiquette rule you just don't agree with? All of them. <laughs> of course. All right. So I screenshotted some uh, of the comments. No. So, that so way somebody. Okay. Somebody, uh, Aaron Forum, he's a former special operations guy. I'm friends with him, social media. Um, he had posted, he was in, oh my God, Denver recently and was riding whatever their public transit is called out, like the train. Okay. And there was this 
dweeb kid sitting down while there was a pregnant and like he took this picture it wasn't mm. just he was posting he was like what the fuck is wrong with people because mm. that's making the pregnant lady stand yeah and the that's, kid was sitting yeah yeah that's, that, that's a shit move for sure so all of us that were stationed overseas it didn't matter if it was asia europe whatever um you're taught to follow generally broadly like the customs and courtesies of the country that you're stationed in or visiting or tdy Mm -hmm. or whatever but when people come to our country we're supposed to respect them that's fucking retarded if you come to our country you have to respect our customs and traditions in the same way that we're supposed to respect yours when we come to your country period right yeah i agree with that yeah and but they don't. We're expected to. Sorry. All I can hear, guys, is the TV in the background. It's really annoying. I can't hear it at all. It's really annoying. I can't hear it at all. It's really annoying. And no, the not. exception to an entire quiet house every other time that we've filmed, and then today he's fucking it up just because football is on, is really annoying. Every day. Okay. But it always has to be quiet when we film for our they podcast. Can't hear this. The point and of then it, you are the point of making being, the exception the point of just being, for football, which is not even a game that you're watching the point or of it care being about. Quiet is because it would be picked up by the microphones. It's not being picked up by the microphones. Okay, well, it's really annoying and distracting. No. That's literally all I can hear. Okay. Anyway, so one of the comments was I have never understood why people are afraid to tell someone else that they have food in their teeth or something on their face. I'm going to be more embarrassed if I get home and see that lipstick is on my teeth and I would be annoyed with you for not mentioning it. I actually told um, the barista at a coffee shop like maybe three years ago that she had lipstick on her teeth. Why are you pointing at me? Because every time I tell you that, you get pissed off at me like it's my fault. um, I'm like, hey, you have something between your teeth and you're like, thanks. No. Next time I just, yeah, you do. It's. The way that you say no. it, not what you say. I've explained no. this so many times with everything. No. Yes. You have food in your teeth. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. That's how I say it. No, that's yeah. not how he yes, says it. it. Is. No. Yes, it is. No, it's like disgusting. No, you really do. You really do. You have food in your teeth. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just... But ironically, you turn for a little bit and there's something on the screen. There's like a dot, right? Do you see it on your top lip? On It's on the screen. Yeah. And it lined up with your tooth when I said that. Cute. All right. Anyways, turning down something when you actually want it because it's polite. This happened to me a lot when I was a kid, but every once in a while as an adult, this weird social thing will happen. Person, would you like something to drink? Me. Yes, please. Thank you. Person, shocked. Face. She did Pikachu face is how she described it. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I think it's the. Oh, oh I the was meme? just being polite. I don't know. Maybe me. Were you? Because that seems rude. Um, I don't think I've ever encountered that actually happening. But yes, I've definitely been in a position where like, for example, yesterday when I was picking up my ring and after i'd already picked up my ring he was like oh would you like a drink and i was like no it's okay i'm i'm you know, running off- errands i got and offered stuff. wine getting my haircut i get offered wine every time i get right. my haircut. but i'm saying offered after i already picked it up and was like getting How long ready there for? To, like 20 minutes start to finish but he offered what? it after Why like i was so already long? leaving uh, I was getting my other ring cleaned oh. and just it, it, you know, it's not, but if, if it had been offered in the beginning and I knew it was going to be 20 minutes, if I thought it was only gonna be like five minutes, it, I probably still would have said no, just because I'm just picking up. I'm not shopping for something else. Also you say yes to the champagne, shoot it real quick. And then I definitely would not shoot a glass of champagne per your. And you uh, do a victory lap, is what I said. N- you wa- you run around like Rocky. I just got a new ring. <laughs> yeah. And let me make you, a scene. You, you, yeah, you know that in today's culture, you have to do something. But I'm not. And, I'm not showboaty the way that you are. But you have. Like, you have to do it, and you have to post on social media. 
No, see, I, I am not like that. That's not who I am. <clears throat> But I've definitely been in that position multiple times and have politely said no because I feel like that is what you're supposed to do, even though the offer may be genuine. I don't know that I've ever felt like it wasn't, but I still said no to be polite. I'm going to start offering people stuff and then telling them I don't have anything, even if I do. Hey, you want a beer? Oh, cool. Go to the store and get it. Yeah. What? Oh my god! I could see you doing that too. <laughs> Anyways, anyways, when you offer someone something and they say no, even though they want it, and you need to keep offering it to them until it's socially acceptable for them to take it. So it's kind of like similar to the other one. Only you're having to pressure them. Of no, really, it's okay. I actually do want to give this to you. Hmm. <laughs> No, that's like the last piece of food when you offer it because you're the you you got to the tray and there was one piece left and there's like ten people there or your family or whatever and you're like does anybody else want this? The other way that you can do it is you say it quietly to the person that you know doesn't like it because they're like, hey, did did you want that last piece? And when they're like, no, they're like, oh, okay. And then when people are like, what happened? I offered it. Nobody said anything. <laughs> the only person that heard me was them. What? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Totally doing it if it's a filet mignon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course you would. But when have there ever been extra filet mignons? It's you and Chloe who have the filet mignon. Yeah. So that's two. I'm saying like, I'm talking in the future when we are like rolling in money and I'm like throwing on slabs of tomahawks and a bunch of okay. juicy. If we ever yarn. get to that point, we will have a discussion if you're going to pocket the remaining filet mignon. I absolutely <laughs> am. See, when I have a barbecue, I send people home with barbecue, mm -hmm. but that's like a dollar a pound. Mm-hmm. When I buy a $65 six ounce filet mignon, mm -hmm. that's my filet mignon. Fuck you. Okay. I despise that it's more socially acceptable to be an asshole than it is to call someone an asshole. It's like when someone's being publicly rude, people would rather just ignore it and look the other way and say, then rather than say, Hey, buddy, you're being a dick to everyone around you. Knock it the hell off. I tell people when they're being an asshole. I tell you when you're being an asshole. I've never been an asshole. And being then he life. gets mad at me for telling him that he's being an asshole. Because I'm not. I'm being nice. I'm being genuine. I'm being sincere, sweet. Literally the biggest asshole. Nope. I hate the idea that you can't talk about your salary with your coworkers. There is zero re reason besides the business not wanting people to know what others are making so that way they can keep your pay this has been lower. A, no, this has been a big uh, shift the last like five years. That's not a thing anymore. So my very first job that I got after being a stay-at-home mom I knew that I was being underpaid. I called the company out on being underpaid. And then I even asked the supervisor what the other people were being paid so that I knew what a comparable pay would be when I was to request a pay increase. And I was told verbatim, you are not allowed to ask that. There's and actually, so I fucking quit. There's actually um, laws I was against like, that. Well, I, I didn't quit per se. I said... Either pay me this amount per hour or I'm quitting. And they came back with like half of what I was requesting. And I said, then I'm not coming to work tomorrow. That's fine. There's there's actually laws against that. So, Well, I'm glad I'm not at that company anymore. Okay. Anyways, um, I hate the idea that you can't talk. Oh, oops. I started reading the exact same one, but I didn't switch to the next one. I apologize. 
All right, being fashionably late. The party is at seven. Why is everyone showing up between eight and nine? It is so fucking rude. I agree. I think fashionably late is dumb. If the party is three to five in the afternoon, don't show up at 430. No, that's a window of opportunity for people. I can show up at any time and I can leave before it ends. Mm. That's exactly what it is. If you want people to be there at an exact time, you don't give an end time. I disagree. No. I think that when you don't give an end time, that means it's until dot, 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 as in come whenever, no. just as long as it's after, say, 3 p.m. No. See, you and I have two very different interpretations of this. If there is a set time, like 3 to 5 p.m. or 7 to 9 p.m., no. that is when the party is. You know that it is wrapping up by 9 p.m. or 5 p.m., whatever the case may be. If you give a window, that's an invitation for anybody to show up whenever they want, leave whenever they want. They can show up early and leave 30 minutes in. They can so show then up. it would be you would be the person who would show up at... 4.30 when the, the party time, is 3 to 5 the or only, whatever. The only time, I would show up as close to 3 as possible. The only time that the window is strict is when it's an official event of some kind. Like if you're going to an award ceremony or whatever, you get there before the Do time, you, you get this? your seat. I'm right. No. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. In no world is it that black and white that all of us regular people, you show up any fucking time and only at an award ceremony is it a set time. Because no, people absolutely have, not. People have lives. Yes, and people have lives. And, you're and, little, if, and so you're don't cookout. show up to my cookout at 4.30 and expect to okay, then, then stay have, then until 7. No, but if you, if you say 3 to 5, and I have something going on until four. I'm not showing up until after four. And if that's you don't want me to, different. no, it's not. Yes. No, that's it's not. Different. No. And, and the polite thing to do is communicate that to the host. Hey, I'm not going to be able to show up until four or four thirty, but I'm absolutely coming. Do you need me to bring anything? No, that's what an RSVP is for. It's RSVP means you're either going to be there or you're not. If you say yes and you can't show up, then you let them know. But you don't need to let somebody know that you're running late because that takes away from the host's ability to pay attention to the people who are there. If you're like, oh, I'm running late. Do you need now? I'm fucking with my phone instead of paying attention to the people that are at the party. Yeah, I didn't say running late, but if you already had a scheduled thing, you did, until, say, you did say I'm running late. Should I pick something up? No, I, ne I never said running late. That's what you said. No, you can play it back. I okay. never, you're Where the one at? who said running minutes? late. Okay. I never said running late. Yes, you did. Okay, continue. No, I didn't. All right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A female coworker of mine was miserable at work one day. I asked her what was wrong. She told me it was her anniversary, and she knew her husband had forgotten. She had preteen girls at home during summer vacation, and I knew her home phone number. This is from a pre-cell phone era. I called her home phone and one kid picked up. I explained to the kid who I was and that she needed to call dad at work and remind him it was mom and dad's anniversary, but don't tell mom or dad that I called. The next day, she was all smiles. Gosh, he did remember, and he brought home flowers and took her out to dinner. Mission accomplished. Not a word was ever said about this until six years later when she was leaving the company. She gave me a hug farewell and whispered, my kids ratted you out. Thank you. Okay. This is sweet sentiment. He did a sweet thing to turn her shitty day around of being forgotten by her husband. But and maybe he, he didn't forget. There's no way to prove the negative now. You're right. There's not. And the kids feel like they're responsible for it. And he's not going to tell them that he forgot or that he didn't forget because he wants them to feel like they played a part in making mom happy. 
pretty sure he forgot. No, so I do this all the time with the kids. I tell them stuff all the time. So they feel like they're the ones that are responsible for making you happy. Pretty sure he forgot. No. You don't know that. You don't know these You're people. You're right. I don't know these people. I don't know any of this for I have, sure. I have man brain though, so I know. Do you remember your home phone number from when you were a kid? I remember mine. Yes. Mine was 219-674. I'm not going to say it out loud because they still have it. Mine was 219-674-5589. And then the 219 area code was cut off and was only Lake County and the surrounding area around Chicago in northern Indiana. Mm-hmm. So like Cole's dad still has a 219 number. But then we had 574, which is my current area code. Mm-hmm. And our house number just changed from 219-674 to 574 Okay. Anyways. On to the next one. Have you ever called a number that you've like heard on a TV show or in a movie? Like a legit number, not like the Mike Jones phone number or whatever. What's Mike Jones phone number? Two eight one three three zero. I don't know 8, what that is, 8, 0, but 0, I will pull something up after we finish with this, but, and then you can. So a lot of times, those those numbers will be like a plot line or like a storytelling device. For whatever that, so if you're watching a TV show and there's an actual phone number that's 10 digits, not just seven, call it sometime. It's probably, usually it's like a pre-recorded thing. Sometimes they'll use like a call tree, which is when you have to like push number for this, push number for Mm -hmm. this, whatever. And so like, it's like a choose your own adventure book. So you call and it's like, this is so-and-so, press one for this. And like, you like follow that path. It's pretty cool. Okay. Remind my, me when we finish this. My YouTube and I will clients are doing that for their video up. game. My YouTube clients are doing that for their video game. Okay. All right. Next okay. one. My flatmate. So obviously we're in London now or England. <laughs> Rude. Somebody, hold on. Before you read this, I'm going to Kanye West you one more time. Okay. Every fucking time. <laughs> Should we call my, that? Should we call that the my Kanye West moment? Mm-hmm. Um, somebody, the, the trend right now is. Post something the British can't own. So it's like the United States. Good teeth. teeth. (laughs) My flatmate has told my boyfriend that she's in love with him. I, female 27, moved into a flat in October of last year to take the place of a mutual friend of mine and my new flatmate, female 27. We have a generally great atmosphere in the flat and both have similar expectations and habits. While we're not friends, as in we wouldn't go out for brunch or be each other's plus ones for parties, we are friendly. She seems super normal and level. When the lockdown began in mean? March. Like level-headed? Yeah. When the lockdown began in March, so we're talking about COVID time. When the lockdown began in March, my boyfriend, male 31, of two years, was living with his sister and his mother, who was undergoing chemo. uh, He needed someone to stay where she could be looked after, so she moved into his room, and he came to stay with us. My flatmate was totally fine, and we had a proper chat about ground rules, etc., But ultimately, the flat is huge for two people, and she was kind of a granny flat set up in hers. I don't know. It kind of got weird there. Sorry. Either way, she gave approval of him moving in. Now we have three. Three what? Three people? Yeah, three people living in the flat but never really spent a ton of time together. We all work from home and spend the occasional evening evening playing games or whatever, but ultimately we didn't mingle much more than before. My boyfriend, however, cooks every night for the both of us as a thank you, and we do now eat together, and my flatmate seemed happy to be included. It was great. However, last week, my boyfriend took me aside and told me that while he was in the courtyard hanging out with the washing, he, I'm sorry, this is really hard to read. First people have shit words. (laughs) She ambushed him from behind and gave a huge speech about how she's in love with him. And while she respects that he's with me, She has deep feelings for him 
and that she's available if he was single. Oh, and please don't tell. Oh, she's writing it as the roommate saying, oh, and please don't tell her who's writing it, the girlfriend. She didn't try to kiss him, but she did try to take his hand. He was very anxious and flustered when he was telling me this. The flat atmosphere is now very awkward, of course. Three people living together who are both in love with the guy. But as far as she knows, he hasn't told me. She's not not saying anything else to him, but he did mention that she had touched his arm a couple of times as she was walking past recently, and it's gotten under my skin. My boyfriend is also confused because he hasn't spent that much time with her apart from our evening dinners and never alone. I spoke to our mutual friend who was shocked, and she's never done anything like this before, and she's never known my housemate to have a crush on anyone before either. At 27 years old? This is long and ridiculous. I'm already bored. Yeah, I'm sorry. This one this one is a little complicated and um Yeah, you need to move or get out. And now this is probably like 3 years ago. She was, I hope that she has moved. <laughs> no. Everything on Reddit's fake. What? For the most part, yeah. Just go on, go on any subreddit and just make up a story that fits whatever that subreddit is. And everyone will be like, oh, yeah, that's so cool. Or, fuck you, you're dumb. Okay. So, on that note, closing out this episode. What? No. Yeah. We're already, I... we're already too long into it. Next episode coming up. N- no. I... I have it broken up. No, the, I so we, then no. We need to cut. We need to cut this episode. How many minutes are we into? Almost fifty minutes in. Okay. So, um. Well, then you can cut out what I just did. No, and I'm not ca- editing it any more than that. Come on. Okay. Well, I have a whole second episode already saved. Yeah. I'm not continuing with. Yeah, we're going to the second episode. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is really fucking annoying. See, he he Kanye's me all the time. No, we're already an hour in. You have to be conscious of the time. It took you three minutes to read that post that we didn't even talk about. So, closing closing statements. You have anything to say to the people? See you at the next episode, which apparently we're turning into three now. Do you love your new shiny? Yeah. All right. Bye. He's not acting like it. Bye.